Hi everyone, welcome back to this five-part series, Drone Field to Finish. Uh, so if you haven't seen part part one yet, that's uh, the previous one. So what we're going to do is we're going to be starting with this one with that outputted recap photo model. We'll take a look at it and recap photo, open up that mesh file, and then bring that um, RCP into Recap Pro. So previous to part one was just the process for collecting that survey data and then creating that recap photo model. So definitely tune into that if you're if you're unfamiliar with that workflow. So uh, part two. So what we're going to do here is we're going to clean up that point cloud and recap uh, prep. So previously we collected that survey data, used those GCPs, incorporated that accurate ground data with that GNS, GNSS receiver. We then use the photos taken from the drone and stitch that together with those ground control points to create that mesh file and that point cloud file. Now we will take that point cloud file into Recap Pro, do some cleanup on it, show you how to, if there's extraneous information, if there's areas that you're not going to be working in. Uh, one thing that's good with Recap Pro is you can eliminate data to create your, and this will allow you to have less data coming into your stable 3D ultimately. You got less points coming in if you don't need those points. And this is a good this is a good location to be removing those. So this is the process to clean up uh, the point cloud. So this is what I like to do. So I like to open that mesh file up and recap photo. So this is that RCM output. I like to open it up and just verify that everything looks as it should. It's a flat surface or the mesh is flat. Uh, I can kind of picture what the ground looks like from being out there. Uh, I'm just looking for anything that's blatantly wrong. Is there like a giant bowed shape to the mesh file or something? And like in that regard, that indicates that something went wrong during the processing. Next thing is I'd like to. Uh, next thing is to open that RCP file up in Recap Pro. So this is part of that output from that cloud processing. And then we'll delete some unnecessary points out of that file in Recap Pro. So we'll just basically remove remove some of that point cloud data. And then we'll export out that RCS from Recap Pro, which we'll then take into InfoWorks. So bouncing over to, I'm going to go to the Autodesk Construction Cloud first. So this is one of the two platforms you can publish your Recap Photo projects. And let's just take a look at what is in that finished project that we asked for in that previous video. So Industrial Park, U.S. Survey Heat. So there's a few things in this uh, in that, that are outputted. So you have an FBX output and then it's a zip file of it, and then JPEG. And then, so this is the RCM file right here. This is what you open up in Recap Photo. And then the RCS right here, this is the point cloud. So we'll open that up in Recap Pro. And then you have a report. So this basically gives you information on the number of photos, coordinate system used, how the stitching worked, um, how successful it was, and whatnot. And then the last thing that comes along with it is that TIFF file, that imagery file that you can place in your goals model as well. So, OK. Going into recap photo here, open this up. So this is the mesh file right here, and I've already downloaded this on my computer just for time's sake's purposes. And just zooming in here, this is this is that corner site. I believe this is Monroe. No, this is 27th right here, and this is Monroe right here. So you can see that we have some. With the data looks good. You know, we have a we have, we have a pretty flat surface. It appears to be sloping down. One thing I noticed that I didn't know is there were some contour depressions here. I can see that came across here as well. You're not going to see any of your XYZ information in relation to the model here, but just as a quick check, I like what I'm seeing here. I got some of the tree there. Uh, so everything looks everything looks good from that recap mesh file. So now let's go into Recap Pro and let's open up that point cloud. So Recap Pro. Right here, this is the uh, same application as Recap. They just launch separately. Recap Photo and Recap Pro just get launched separately. So let's go ahead and open up that RCS file. So, and then Industrial Park QS Survey Feed. So it's going to kick out an RCP, and then that support folder that comes along with it. It's all the data that's in that RCP file. But we're going to go ahead and open that up. And what you're going to see here is very similar to that RCM file, that mesh file we, we opened up in Recap Photo. This is just all the decimated, uh, decimated. this is all the point cloud data. So if you, if you zoom in here, it's just a comprised of a millions and millions of small points. Okay, so what I like to do when I open these models up, I like to verify that the XYZ data is in the right ballpark before I start spending time trying to clean up the model and then bring it in if it works. So 
What I'm going to do here is you'll notice recap length the default to meters. So I'm just going to go to this gear up here. I'm just going to change this to feet. And then one thing I always like to verify as well is that that coordinate system came across. So OR83NF, okay, so that's the coordinate system I started with. So I'm say okay. Now, one thing I like to do, let's just open up this survey data. Um, process, evolve. Defeat. Okay, so. So I just take a look at, all right, we're looking at 765. And that's the easting and 655 for the northing. Okay, so then bouncing back into recap here, I'm just going to check this point right here. I'm just trying to get some rough idea to make sure that that things were processed correctly in terms of that, that data. So you can see the X, we're looking at 765, the Y, 655, elevation 116. And looking at point one, that elevation is 116. So everything looks good in terms of the GCPs and how they processed um, on all those targets. So you can see if you were to check the other targets as well, there's another target over here. There's another target over here. And then there's another one down here as well. So now what I like to do is I like to remove some extraneous data from this model. So you'll notice on this side we have some, we have some light posts. We have like fragments of trees over here. We have some Data is a little sparse in this section of the road, but I'm not necessarily using it, but I'm just going to leave it in there when I generate the surface. And you'll notice here, this runs along the side here. This is a fence. So it grabbed the top of that fence. So what I like to do is I like to get everything out that I'm not going to use or I don't want to classify in Symbol 3D. So process, you just go through and, it's, and you just delete all those extra points. And you don't need to go crazy and get everything out, but it's just it's just helpful to get out that, that data that you're not going to be using. So we'll remove that. We can see we have some data over here. This is my truck right here that was during the model, so I was actually standing right here during processing. And then if we bounce over here, you can see we have a couple light posts up here. We're just going to go ahead and delete those out. Delete those out. And then I'm going to leave that tree in here. We'll classify that in InfoWorks when we bring that in. And let's see, we have a couple trees right here. This truck doesn't come across great, um, but we'll just leave it in there and you'll see it actually creates like a contoured hill around it. And then you can see we're, we're looking pretty good here. We have that surface data, um, all that point cloud data in here. Um, this is a little sparse over here. I'm just gonna remove that. And then let's see if we have any other points floating around. Okay, this looks pretty good. And in some regards with other models, you'll see you'll, you have like a building, so there's a building that was half that was half used or half half scanned by the drone. Well, that's a good idea to get that out. But this model is fairly simple in terms of it's just a field area and there wasn't too much um, too many objects overhanging or obstructing things. So there's there's less model cleanup for this one. So then once I'm satisfied with my results and once I'm satisfied with how the point cloud is looking, then I like to do a save as on it. So I like to always keep that raw keep that raw data separate. So what I usually do is run a save as on that RCP file and throw it in a separate folder. Just gives you like that cleaned up point cloud. And then what I like to do is export it out as an RCS. So if we kick this out as an RCS, that's going to unify my point cloud data. So let's just kick it out to my desktop here. We'll just call this video clean. And what I like to do here, let me say save. We're going to say, yeah, let's go unify my project scans. So what this does is if you had structured data, say you had like a couple structured scans with like those 360 image views that you register together, that'll convert that from structured to unstructured data. In this sense, we just have unstructured data, so it doesn't matter. But one thing that's nice about this is you have options to decimate. So if you have a really dense point cloud or a ton of data, you can increase this. So like say 10, 15 millimeters, it just spreads out the amount of points you have in each uh, triangulated area. Now, one thing that's good about exporting up the RCS is it's just one singular file. So say you're moving that file or you're putting it on a thumb drive, trying to get it to a different machine. That support folder can be a little bit tough to drag across, especially as things get bigger and bigger, because there's a lot of singular components in it. This RCS file is like one big file. It's like, it's like working with a zip file or something like that. So I like working with that just because it's one file and then it's one file you're attaching it to InfoWorks as well. So let's go unify my project scans. But that being said, using an RCP and InfoWorks or using the RCP, 
um, is totally fine as well. And, you know, one thing about this step in using Recap Pro is you don't need to clean it up in Recap Pro. You can go straight to InfoWorks if you wanted to and you're confident with uh, the amount of points and what the points look like and all your data. So this concludes uh, step two. So what we did here is we took that Recap Photo output, downloaded it locally, and then we opened up the RCM file in Recap Photo, that mesh file, and we just checked it, just checked the validity of it, just make sure that things look as they should. And we're seeing the, the mesh uh, roll along the contours as we would expect. We're not seeing any, any weird bowing or U-shaped models or anything like that. And then afterwards, we opened up that point cloud file also from that Recap Photo output in Recap Pro. And we did some minor model cleanup. We removed some points that we didn't need, removed some uh, points along the top of the fence, uh, just removed some of those extraneous points. And then we saved the file and we kicked it out as an RCS. And what the RCS does is it unifies things. So it creates that singular unified file versus that RCP and that support folder that goes along with it. You can attach either an InfoWorks, like I said, but I, I prefer the RCS just because it's one unified file and it can be a bit easier to share as well. So stay tuned for part three and we'll bring that uh, we'll bring this RC we'll bring this RCS file, this point cloud file and infoworks, generate the terrain from it, and then create a surface from that. Thank you.